Do it for the culture wins Red Bull culture clash. Jada drops this track for Shensia. I don't know says he wasn't in the car crash. I am Presky and it's time for your daily quickie. The most anticipated clash of Red Bull Culture Clash brought out thousands of Sound Clash lovers to witness the first of its kind in Jamaica and the Caribbean at large. Now, the National Arena was transformed into a battle zone for four teams Do It for the Culture, Rhythm Stream Plateau, Ramesh Entertainment, and Strike Force. Do It for the Culture lived up to their name and won the coveted title as the champions for Red Bull Culture Clash 2019. Congrats, guys! Four pros and the one winner! Do it for the culture! Red Bull Culture Clash here in Jamaica for the first time. Spraga Benz, you were part of the team. You were one of the headliners of the team. How does it feel to be the winner? It's a good feeling. Yeah, we're winning right now. <laughs> Big up, Jeffrey. And, you know, it's a good feeling because we put in the work. We never sleep last night. We stayed up the whole night mixing dubs and all sort of thing, you know. For the last couple of weeks, we have fine artists worldwide, you know. And, uh, you know, make sure so we, we present the thing in a respectful way. Can't calculate it, but they gave they gave us a portion and whatever they gave us to do dubs, we, we, we add upon that. Because, you know, we know say, we want the thing to be done properly, sticking to a game plan. Stick into a playlist. Killings go on. The highs and the lows of the clash were Shensia spliced dub for Ramesh, played by Rhythm Stream. <laughs> that did bad. First thing in the morning, when Ramesh wake up, you know what I Then Ramesh Entertainment crew tried to counter racket with an official dub from Shensia, but the crowd never did real too tough. Apparently now, the clash is not done in real life. Shensia and Jada Kingdom long time beef is now in full effect and social media is burning up as we speak. The war of words started when Shensia surprised the clash and came out on stage and called up Jada Kingdom name. She have a new name for her, Jada Condom. <laughs> hey, no, I'm done. But Jada Kingdom's counteraction was very poor when she comes on stage like, Jano, could you say something else, goody? Jada didn't stop there. She took to Twitter yesterday, throwing shades. You know I'm a businesswoman. Condoms, banana skin. So you know, so Jada planned for Jeff for a new condom line. <laughs> Stress out. <laughs> didn't stop there. Jada and Chensi exchanged words on Twitter. In a nutshell, Jada said, if I meet you outside, it's a bag of security. So maybe it's my time. Chensi was like, my fans know men of the social media badness. A face-to-face -face we deal with. Yeah, you. And if you thought it was finished, no. Jada hit the studio and drop a preview to Shensia this song, this morning. Now, I'll cover our goody going. Jada create this Shensia face with one rope running, so I ain't you know, I'm stressed out. Listen, Jada don't come for play. Sure. I that it really got to say. Ah, mad. It is. The girl sell her mouth from QQ, I sing better, must come, and I know I can't see a word. Listen to the song and let me know if it's a go on with some. Right? Quickie, hashtag Jada Kingdom versus Shensia. Early Sunday morning after the Red Bull clash, it was reported that Idonia was involved in an accident on Hope Road. Many bloggers had up a video with a white BMW X5, which many thought belonged to dancehall DJ Idonia. Now, Idonia was seen walking on the scene of the accident. So naturally, many assume he was the driver of the car that met in the accident. Accident with Donia. John Oster Donia. As a second, as a second vehicle, this. I Donia apparently was bombarded with messages about the accident, and he took to his Instagram story to refute claims of the car accident. One time, I never forget to the story straight before I jump out and start posting. Hear that? Hear that? Yeah. So you know what I drive my vehicle and nothing on a race. So just get on a fuck straight dog and stop sending things out there. Me, be people are linking us and blue and blue and blah and blah. So. Well, we are happy to hear that the DJ is safe and sound and he wasn't the one driving. And that's it for your daily quickie with me, Press K. Remember to follow us at RHVD Jamaica for all your entertainment happenings or simply log on to onespotmedia.com. Ari, can't find Starry. Mwah.